Caves are one of the spookiest places on Earth. Most of the time, these dark and mysterious caverns are dangerous to explore. Over the years, many cave systems on our planet have amassed a collection of strange phenomena that we've only discovered recently. In this video, we'll explore some of the most exciting caves in the world, where the weirdest things have been discovered. From the oldest human footprints in the world, to the cave of our cannibal ancestors, here are the 15 strangest things found in caves. Number 15. Oldest Human Footprints in the World In 2014, archaeologists made a groundbreaking discovery, the oldest human footprints in the world. These footprints were discovered in a cave in Romania in 1965, and at first, researchers presumed they were about 10,000 to 15,000 years old. In recorded history, these footprints are among the oldest, but they're not the only ones. However, a recent study of the bones found in the cave suggests that these footprints were a staggering 36,500 years old. There are about 400 of them, and they belong to a man, a woman, and a child. It's astounding to think that our ancient predecessors managed to leave behind something for us to remember them by. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Cave filled with cups made of human skulls. What's more disturbing than stumbling upon a huge pile of bones? It's discovering tools made out of human bones. In 2011, archaeologists announced that they had made quite a macabre discovery. They stumbled upon a collection of cups made from none other than human skulls. I mean, just take a look at this. Would you even dare drink from this? I don't think so. But our ancestors who lived more than 14,000 years ago didn't mind it at all. The skull cups were found in a Somerset cave. The three skull cups were made from the bones of two adults and a three-year-old child. Yikes! The good news is that unlike many prehistoric and ancient skulls discovered before, the owner of these skull cups, or should I say the original people made into these skull cups, most likely died due to natural causes than anything else. I guess it was a strange tradition for them. Number 13. 100-Year-Old Axe Murder If you're a crime junkie, you've probably already heard the name Joseph Henry Loveless before. If you haven't, well, you're in for a pretty horrid story. Born in 1870, Loveless grew up with his religious parents. Later on, he married Harriet Jane Hattie Savage, who he had one child with. Their relationship, however, quickly ended with their divorce in 1904, and he married his second wife, Agnes Octavia Caldwell. The two had four kids, but instead of living a peaceful life, Loveless became a notorious criminal. He was repeatedly caught for petty crimes, but he always managed to escape. And in 1916, he committed the most horrid act, the murder of his own wife, Agnes. He was arrested once again, but he escaped and was never seen again. It was several decades later when people discovered his whereabouts. His torso was found in 1979 by a family searching for arrowheads in a cave near eastern Idaho. His hand, arms, and two legs weren't found until 12 years later deep in the same cave system. At first, no one knew the identity of the man. In 2019, a nonprofit called DNA Doe Project decided to take up the case. There, they identified that the dismembered remains belonged to the merciless criminal Henry Loveless. No one knows who was responsible for his death, but I guess it's true that you shouldn't do unto others what you don't want to be done unto you. Number 12. Theater of Bones In 2004, the entire world was surprised when authorities in Paris announced that they had discovered a theater and restaurant made out of bones in a previously uncharted cavern beneath Paris. The police found a full-size cinema screen, projection equipment, and tapes, including 1950s film noir classics. Near the theater, they found a smaller cave that had been turned into an informal restaurant and bar. The entire place also had a professionally installed electricity system, which meant whoever used these caverns as a place to relax and meet up had the money and the connections. While no forbidden or illegal things were found, the police still tried to search for the people behind the Bone Theater. However, when the police tried to find where the electricity was coming from, they discovered that the lines were already cut off and a note saying, Do not try to find us. Now that's spooky. Number 11. Scientists find 33 new creatures in a cave sealed off for 5 million years. What do you think would happen if someone found a sealed cave isolated from the rest of the world? Well, no one knew the answer until experts found this cave in Romania that has been sealed from the rest of the planet for 5 million years. Because it was sealed, the air inside the chamber turned toxic. But despite that, scientists still found a total of 48 living species inside the prehistoric time capsule. 
Among them were 33 newly discovered creatures that lived nowhere else on Earth. Most of the organisms inside the cave were completely eyeless. After all, you don't really need eyes when you're living in total darkness, right? No sunlight touched their habitat either, so most of them looked incredibly pale. There is a lot more to discover about this cave, and who knows? We might hear other incredible findings about the Mulville Cave soon. Number 10. Ancient Forest Recently, a team of scientists found a giant sinkhole in China that's about 600 feet deep. For comparison, it's as deep as the height of the Space Needle in Seattle. When researchers ventured into the sinkhole, they discovered that beneath it was an ancient forest filled with trees, plants, and possibly other organisms, which have been living without the influence of the outside world for thousands of years. Researchers are still studying this forest, and they've reported the possibility that they'll discover new life inside the cave. Number 9. Hobbit-like Human Ancestors Sometimes, history sounds like fiction, and this is one of those moments. In 2019, a team of archaeologists discovered tiny skulls in the limestone cave of Liang Bua on the island of Flores, Indonesia. They were all baffled to discover the remains of a human species that grew no bigger than a three-year-old child. The size of their skulls were about the size of a pomelo or a grapefruit. But it gets better. More than 15,000 years ago, these hobbit-like people lived not only with pygmy elephants and Komodo dragons, but also with a huge army of rats. One of the archaeologists found a female's remains that only stood a little over three feet tall. She weighed 55 pounds and died at the young age of 30, around 18,000 years ago. Their brains were about the size of a chimp's, and there's a chance that modern humans even met this unusual group. Unfortunately, it's guaranteed that these hobbit-like humans have gone extinct today. Number 8. Hikers regret picking up a statue found in a cave. It's normal for many of us to pick up things we encounter during a trip or a hike. These items serve as a memorabilia or a souvenir of some sort for us to remember the trip. But the golden rule is, don't pick up anything that looks like it might be haunted. Just like this one. The story of this cursed statue started with two friends who had gone hiking in the Catskills in New York. There, they found what they claimed was a haunted cave, and inside, they stumbled upon this strange, creepy statue. The wood effigy had nails in its eyes and a noose around its neck. It might be less than two feet tall, but with just one look, I know that I don't want anything to do with it. Despite all the creepiness just oozing out of the statue, the two friends decided to take it home, which they later found to be a horrible idea. Several days after putting the statue inside their house, the hikers started noticing strange things. Knocks in the middle of the night, even with no people around, disturbing smells and strange voices. Later on, he also started to find the statue in other places in his house. They first thought that it was the dog who was responsible for the relocation, but nope, the animal didn't want to be anywhere near the statue. The hikers decided that enough was enough and asked for the help of a paranormal expert who took custody of the statue. However, the spookiness and paranormal activity never stopped. Needless to say, the two hikers learned their lesson the hard way. Number 7. Eerie Case of Catherine Van Alst I don't know about you, but a cave is no place for a child to be. This is what makes the vanishing and reappearance of Catherine Van Alst so eerie. In 1946, the Van Alst family decided to camp in Devil's Den State Park, located in Washington County, Arkansas, United States. The 2,500-acre land was a haven for tourists who wanted to experience a variety of outdoor activities, from picnicking, camping, hiking, mountain biking, and even horseback riding. The Van Alst family thought that their trip would be memorable for the kids. And it was, but not for the reasons they expected. During their camping trip, eight-year-old Catherine was playing with her dad and brothers in the nearby creek. The child was only in her bathing suit. And she was barefooted, so neither her brothers nor her father expected her to disappear without anyone noticing. After all, how far could an eight-year-old child go without shoes in the wilderness? Catherine's family searched the nearby areas, thinking that the child was simply trying to play hide-and-seek. But hours passed, and they couldn't find her. It was almost as if she had disappeared into thin air. As the clock ticked by, Catherine's family grew increasingly worried, and they contacted the police and park rangers for help. A large-scale search began, and the authorities methodically scoured the entire national park. After six days with no sign of the missing child, the family lost hope that she was still alive. But surprisingly enough, a team of volunteers decided to try their luck and search the cave a few miles away from the Van Alst family's campground. They thought that going to this cave was a stretch, 
After all, the cave was around seven air miles away from the camping ground, and it was 600 feet higher than the place where she came from. But despite all odds, they found little Catherine inside the cave, safe and sound. This was only the beginning of the strange case. Catherine claimed that she ate berries to survive, which was an oddity. The whole forest had a lot of poisonous berries, and it was a miracle that Catherine knew on her own what to eat. The child had cuts and bruises, but she didn't look like a kid who was lost in the wild for six days alone. What's more interesting is how she got lost in the first place. Catherine claimed that she was shouting for her brothers and her dad when she lost her way. So how did no one hear her? To this day, the vanishing and reappearance of Catherine remains to be one of the most mysterious cave and national park mysteries of all time. Number 6. 10,000-Year-Old Cheddar Man and His Distant Relative you're looking at the photo of what researchers think a 10,000-year-old skeleton looked like when he was still alive. This is the Cheddar Man. No, he wasn't named because of his strong love for cheddar cheese. He was named after the location where he was found, Cheddar Gorge in Somerset, England, which also happened to be where cheddar cheese originated. But that's beside the point. The remains of the Cheddar Man were found in 1903, but we've only recently managed to analyze and study them further. What came next was a shocking discovery. Analysis showed that most modern-day British people share about 10% of their genetic ancestry with a population to which Cheddar Man belonged. But while sharing the same DNA is a great thing, this doesn't mean that they're direct descendants. Here's where it gets exciting. It turns out that this Mesolithic man still has a remaining distant relative alive today. After years of grueling DNA detective work, a small cavity from one of Cheddar Man's molar teeth led researchers today to one of his only remaining direct descendants. Mr. Target. He's a 62-year-old history teacher who shares a familial connection with Cheddar Man, albeit they have a 10,000-year gap between them. After careful analysis, researchers found out that Cheddar Man was a part of a Western European population with lactose intolerance, light-colored eyes, dark hair, and intermediate to dark skin color. Who would have thought their ancestors were dark to black-skinned with bright blue eyes? This just proves that we still have a lot to discover about our past. Number 5. Hellfire Caves if you want to explore the scariest and the weirdest cave in the world, then you might want to check out the Hellfire Cave. Located in West Wickham, England, about 300 feet underground, the Hellfire Cave is a series of hand-carved tunnels and alcoves. The entire cave system was excavated for Francis Dashwood in the mid-1700s specifically for the secret society Hellfire Club. You might be thinking that the Hellfire Club was for rock stars or poets, but the members of it were actually politically and socially important people at the time including John Wilkes. And while Benjamin Franklin didn't become a member, he was considered an honored guest. Back then, this cave served as their rendezvous point, and the club members would often meet here for drunken toasts, meetings, and even mock rituals. There were also claims that the members did other unspeakable things inside, although those have been unfounded. The Hellfire Cave basically used to be a hidden place reserved for the members of a secret society of wealthy pagans. Today, many people believe that several ghosts roam the area including that of a bride called Suki. She was allegedly pranked by her friends to meet with her groom at the cave, but upon arriving, she realized that she became the victim of a sick prank. In a rage, she threw stones at her friends, who retaliated back. Unfortunately, Suki was hit particularly hard in her head, which led to her untimely death. There are also claims that the founder himself still haunts the caves to this day, and has been seen on many occasions. Strange orbs have also been seen inside the caves, and people have also heard disembodied voices inside. If you're curious to see this spooky cave, you're free to do so. But be careful. This cave isn't for the faint of heart, especially those who despise ghosts. And now it's time for today's topic. In one of their recent explorations, scientists discovered a 3 million year old cave, and they found something incredible inside. Researchers recently discovered this strange cavern that almost looked as if it appeared out of nowhere. No one knew of its existence before, and it was almost as if it just appeared without anyone noticing. After studying the cave, they found out that it was at least 3 million years old, and they found something intriguing inside. No, they didn't find aliens or dinosaur eggs, but they did find a sealed chamber brimming with light. The creatures they found have been living independently from the rest of the world for the last 3 million years. With this discovery, researchers are now one step closer to knowing how life on Earth was 3 million years ago. Do you think it would be possible for us to revive the extinct species that lived before? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, 
let's keep things moving. Number 4. Ancient Crime Scene in a Mexican Cave Earlier this year, Mexican police found a pile of about 150 skulls in a cave near the border of Guatemala. At first, the authorities thought that they had stumbled upon a gruesome and brutal crime scene. After all, the Guatemalan border has been tormented by violence and human trafficking over the years. It was only normal for them to assume the worst upon discovering the brutally bashed bones. But the more they investigated, the clearer it became that what they stumbled upon isn't just an ordinary crime scene. It turned out that the bones actually date back between AD 900 and 1200. More than a thousand years ago, 150 people had their heads cut off in this cave during an ancient ritual. Aside from the fact that the skulls were mercilessly decapitated, all of them also had their teeth pulled out. Archaeologists believe that the skulls were the remains of sacrificial victims who had their heads decapitated and they were later put on display like a trophy. This macabre practice was common for many cultures, but it's still shocking to find traces of it to this day. I mean, I kind of get it. If I saw more than a hundred decapitated heads on display, I'd definitely know better than to mess with whatever settlement is living there. Number 3. Cave Filled with Snot No, I'm not joking. There are actually caves in the world filled with snot. In fact, researchers even have a name for them, snotites. Snotites are basically the slimy stalactites in caves that are made out of goo. While most caves in the world boast amazing stalactite formations, some have a huge array of mucus-like chandeliers hanging from their ceilings. Looking at this gooey substance slowly flowing down the ceiling might not be pleasant for pretty much anyone. Although for scientists and researchers, it's a microbe paradise. Not a lot of organisms would want to thrive inside the cold and pitch-dark caves. But despite all odds, several organisms survive in these caverns. Some caves are even filled with sulfur, making the entire environment acidic. While it's harmful to many organisms, some bacteria found a way to survive the extreme acidity. How? It's by making their own goo to protect themselves. Through this mucus, the bacteria can make their own protective film to block all the toxic substances in the cave. So if you ever travel inside a cave and you see snotites, just remember that that stinky and yucky goo is filled with lots of bacteria trying to survive inside the cave. Number 2. Cave of Crystals With giant crystals poking out from every part of this cave, you would think that this place isn't from this world. This is the Nica Mine of Mexico, also known as the Cave of Swords. It's been more than 100 years since the discovery of the Nica Crystal Cave in 1910, and yet it continues to astonish many people today. To enter this otherworldly cave, people have taken a harrowing journey from a mine in Chihuahua, Mexico. Today, this place is almost entirely underwater. Upon reaching the crystal cave, you would be welcomed by the enormous stone specimen, with some up to 45 feet long and about 6 feet thick. Some of the crystals were approximately 55 tons, and they're arguably among the largest crystal chunks on the whole planet. These crystals are actually made of gypsum, the main material used for plasters, blackboards, and drywalls. So while they're incredibly gigantic in size, they're not actually valuable crystals. It's astounding that these crystals formed inside this cave for millions of years and counting. These crystals can grow more than 40 feet if they're given enough time. Unfortunately, the cave was temporarily open before, and some of the crystals have been damaged. While you might be delighted to take an Instagram-worthy photo with these large crystals in your backdrop, the Nika Caves have been closed, including its shallowest part to protect both tourists and the crystals. Today, these large gypsum chunks are submerged in water, and they're left in their natural environment. Number 1. The Cave of the Cannibals In 2016, archaeologists made a macabre discovery when they stumbled upon human bones inside a Belgian cave. All of the bones they discovered showed signs of butchery, almost as if they were brutally slain. Some bones were cracked open to reach the marrow, while some had cut marks left by knives, as if the flesh was skillfully separated from the bones. This appalling discovery was what led researchers to discover that between 40,000 to 45,000 years ago, the Neanderthals living in Belgium ate each other to survive. Human bones were found along with the remains of animals like reindeer and horses. Although cannibalism has been observed in our other prehistoric ancestors, Belgian Neanderthals are among the first few who brutally butchered their own kind. The most confusing thing is that this act was totally unnecessary. Did they do it as part of a ceremony? Were they driven by their extreme hunger or bloodlust? Or were they pushed to turn to macabre ways just to survive extinction? So which of these cave discoveries caught your interest the most? 
Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.